This is the ColourPop liquid liner. What are they called? They are called ColourPop liquid liner. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a video trying out a bunch of new makeup products. Is this going to be a full face? No, I don't wanna use a new foundation because I have two other videos to film after this and I want to make sure that my skin's gonna look good for that. I'm going to skip over the foundation portion, but today I've got a new eyeshadow palette, highlighter, lip products, blush, eyeliner, mascara. I've got a whole bunch of different things to try. So it's pretty much a full face of first impressions minus the Face. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Both of those are Rob Beauty Christie, and I update the shit out of both of them way more than I do YouTube. So if you guys are interested in keeping up to date with me more on what's going on, check them out. And let's just jump into the video. So I'm gonna prime my eyelids real quick with the ColourPop No Filter. Zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see up close. Today, all the stuff, so I was like grabbing my makeup, I was going through everything, and today, everything I grabbed is like in a pink tone. I'm not even kidding. Everything I grabbed is like blush, pink, soft, and I'm like, Valentine's Day literally ended, and now I am getting into the makeup style. Cool, 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 cool. Couldn't have done this before Valentine's, huh? I guess I had a cold sore, so cut myself some slack. I do not know what is happening with this hair, and it is like really upsetting me. I, it, I, I, it's like my hair is lacking body. I don't know. It's like I, I want it to be like textured and oh, well now it looks kind of good. But it just looks like so, I don't know, all the curls just kind of sit together. It's like the most irritating shit. I do want to try the new ColourPop liners in this video, so I will be doing that. But I'm also going to try this eyeshadow palette. If you love pink eyeshadows, you might love this one because that's what it is. This is the Time LA Pink Infatuation eyeshadow palette. I think, if I am correct, and I may not be, I think this is their first ever eyeshadow palette. So that is pretty exciting. I am so excited to give it a go today and see how these perform. I'm not really feeling like hot, hot pink today, so I don't think I'm going to use either of these ones. Sorry. I I want to keep it a little bit softer. So I am going to dip into that cotton candy shade. Hmm, that's pretty. It applies to the eye like you think it's going to. It really looks the same in the pan as it does on your eye. I don't know what it is. I'm just feeling pink today. I want to like look really soft and angelic, you know. That's me. Then I'm gonna dip into the shade Blush next to it. This shade is up my alley. This is the kind of pink shade that I love. So far this is performing really beautifully. The shadows are going on just as expected. Okay, now I'm gonna dip into the shade Velvet here. I'm just kind of patting that on the outer portion and inner portion. I think today I'm not gonna do like a cut crease, but I am gonna do like a halo eye. And I think to deepen it up even more, I'm gonna dip into Enchant and mix it in with a little bit of chocolate. I feel like initially when I looked at this palette, I didn't think it looked like as wearable as I think I'm realizing that it is. It feels more wearable to me now. Like, especially these colors, they, when next to pink, they may appear pink, but if you look at these separately, they're just kind of like a soft blush nude. And then this shade down here, you can create a less pink look if you're not super into the pink tone shades. By the way, for this whole look so far, I've used the Smith 235 brush. Kind of like a chocolate cherry. Hmm, that's kind of pretty. That was really, 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 really easy to blend out. Well, I'll be. 
Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna do the other eye real quick, the same as this. And then I'm gonna come back and I'll show you like I'm gonna do a little halo eye. And then I wanna do a liner with the new ColourPop liners. They have these colored liquid eyeliners and I'm so glad I use them. But off first impression of this eyeshadow, I feel like it's a nice standard eyeshadow. Nice rich pigment, blends out really well. I had no issues getting it to blend out. It doesn't look patchy or anything. It just went on really easily. I think the tones of it are really pretty. It reminds me similarly of like the new nude palette from Huda Beauty. Let me see the price. Time LA has really nice lashes too, by the way. If you guys have ever wondered, they have such beautiful lashes. I think the Duchess ones, oh my God, they're so, <laughs> so beautiful. Okay, so this eyeshadow palette has 12 shades and it is $21 USD. Here are all the shades swatched. So I think I wanna take a little bit more cotton candy and just kind of gently buff it around the edges so it's a little like more pink on the outside. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye the same. I'll be right back and then I'm gonna do the halo eye portion and the liner. Uh, I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of concealer on the back of my hand and I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty concealer just cause it's right in front of me. I can't find my ColourPop. I'm going to dip my brush in and I'm going to sort of cut the center of my eye out a bit. Literally just like that. That's why when I say a bit, I'm not doing like some crazy cut crease. I just want it to be a little bit lighter in the center. So what I'm gonna do now is actually use this. So I did a full face of wet and wild makeup. I will link it up here if you guys did not see it. And I was so massively impressed with these Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit liquid eyeshadows. And this is one I didn't get to try. This is the shade Fairy Tale Ending and it looks so insanely beautiful. Look at this. Oh, it suits this eye look absolutely perfectly. So I'm put that in the center of my eye and then I'm gonna take that same brush again and just sort of tap out the edges. I am obsessed with these. Wet n Wild absolutely killed it. Look how beautiful that is. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm just gonna take my brush and sort of tap over the edges a bit, but gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this color up close. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a purpley pink. So I feel like this could suit a lot of different eye looks. It's like a silvery, light periwinkly, purpley pink. I think that looks really nice. This is the ColourPop liquid liner. What are they called? They are called ColourPop liquid liner. Oh. <laughs> are they BFF? It says BFF on the box. The lineup. Okay, and this is the shade I'm actually gonna use. I put it on the back of my hand. It does look like it's kind of bleeding into the fine lines of my hand, but we'll see if it does that on the eye. This is the shade Ducky. Aw, and I'm so excited to see how these perform. All right, let's zoom y'all in for this one. Ooh. I didn't expect it to go over that dark shadow. Wow. So it does dry down darker than when it's going on. When it first goes on, it looks like really milky, as you can see. And then when it dries down, it kind of changes a little bit. But you know what? It really like did a good job going over the top of that dark shadow and it looks prominent, you know? I wouldn't expect it to. Wow, that went on really, really well. It does look like it darkened up the tip of my liner going over that. So hopefully it doesn't like ruin it. Got this stupid idiot bump on my eyelid that popped up out of nowhere. I don't know what it is. It might be like one of those milia or whatever. Oh my God, it's so annoying.
Okay, well, that is a pink eyeliner. This was really easy to apply. I love a good like felt tip liner. I feel like they're just really easy to apply and they don't dry out super fast for me. So we'll see how this lasts as time goes on. But after my first impression, I really like that. Look how pretty that is. Damn. There's a bunch of other colors too, look. These are the other colors. There's a black, red, yellow, blue, green, and is this silver? White? White. Oh. Should I do like a little white line underneath this? I did not realize they had a white. <laughs> Well, that doesn't look great, but it could look kind of cool. If I really perfect it, it'd be like a graphic liner. I kind of like the idea of a graphic liner. kind of cool. So I have thrown on a pair of lashes. I also put some foundation and concealer and powder on. Yes, I powdered today. I know. It's because over the last few videos that I've done, I have really been just noticing these like troughs underneath my eyes and I'm like, you know what? A little bit of powder never hurt anyone. So I threw a little bit of the Huda Beauty uh, pound cake. Yeah, this stuff under my eyes and I feel like it looks pretty good. And actually I like these eyes a lot. The only thing is I use the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in my waterline. This is the shade Go Ahead Pink. And I used this the other day in a makeup tutorial and my eyes are watering so bad now. They weren't before that, but for some reason that shade is bothering my eyes. And you know what? The last pink look that I did too, I noticed on the pink side, my eyes were watering and I thought, well, I don't know why that is, but now I think it's that pencil. For some reason it's making my eyes water so bad. But I do think this eye look really pretty. I love the graphic liner. It's not perfect, but you know, who needs to be? And let's move on to the rest of the products. So for my bronzer, I don't have anything new that I wanna try. I think I might just go back in with the Sunset Strip Tease bronzer. This was the Wet n Wild one that I tried in that video that I talked about before. And honestly, it impressed me so much. So I'm gonna give this another go and bronze up my face. And then I have a new blush palette, highlighter, and lip products to try. My lights were in the wrong spot and I noticed that they were like lighting my face bizarrely. So I just moved them. So if everything looks a little bit different, that's why. Okay, so I used the bronzer and I just love the way that it looks. I did a little powder down here just to make that area like a little bit I don't know, more like cut out. I don't know, I'm trying to chisel, okay? And this is the new NARS blush palette. It is so beautiful. Look at the front of this. It's like water. And then each of the blushes have that same imprint in them. It's so beautiful. This is the exposed cheek palette. So I think I'm gonna use these two shades down here, probably the middle one the most. Let's see how this looks. It's like a, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting consistency. I can't quite explain it, but it doesn't have like a very powderiness to it at all. In fact, when you push your brush into it, it gets like these little marks in it because it's not powdery, but you kind of really have to, I don't know, dip quite a bit to get into it. Cause it's like a, it's like creamy almost, but it's not a cream blush. Hmm. I think in person it looks really pretty, like really, really pretty, but on camera it's looking a little bit textured, but in person I don't see that at all. It looks patchy too, but it really, well, maybe a little bit. Oh, 
Okay, well, I think those blushes actually look really pretty. And like I said, they look more pretty in person. I feel like on camera, they're a little bit patchy looking, but they have a bit of like a luminosity to them, but they do, I don't know, my cheeks look very textured right now. In person, it doesn't look so bad. I don't know what's going on, okay? It's a little hurtful. I don't have to keep giving those a try because I don't know. I don't. This is the highlighter from Melt Cosmetics. And now that I look at it, I think this one is oh, way too dark for me. I am not going to use this. This is the shade Phoenix though. Uh, so if you're interested, this shade on the other hand may work for me. And this is the shade Pink Moon. I'm gonna go in with my Sigma tapered highlighter brush. Oh. Looks really pretty. I'll show you on this side. But let me just say, while while that is very pretty, I think my Ofra Cloud Nine Nikki Tutorials highlighter is similar to this, but I think I like it better. And I'm gonna show you that if I have it here. So the highlighter itself looks white, but it has like a pink shift to it. And I'm gonna try and toss over the top so you guys can see. Yeah, it gives a very similar vibe. My skin looks so textured, it's unreal. My cheeks right here look so bumpy. Yeah, I think I like the Nikki Tutorials one better. This one is pretty, but it's a little bit muted versus when you toss that on, I mean, what a difference. All right, so that is the highlighter. I think it looks pretty. I wouldn't recommend that you all go run out and grab this. I mean, it is a beautiful highlighter. Like you can see, I'll swatch it on my hand. It's got a really pretty sheen to it. I don't know, I just feel like the Ofra one gives the same vibe, but like a brighter, more intense glow. I mean, the Melt one is really pretty, but I don't know if I would like run out and get it. Although I do feel like it looks really beautiful. And if you love the way that it looked, I just don't feel like for me it was as wet and glowy as I love, but you know, I'm, I'm also really picky with highlighters. All right, for my lips, I think I'm gonna do, Pink. <laughs> this is the NARS Love Me Do lip gloss. And I take that on my lips. And then I'm gonna use one of these other lip glosses, which are so stunning. I mean, look at these. These are all from NARS as well. And oh, they're literally too beautiful for words. This one, oh my God. This is the one called First Time. It has like a paddle applicator. I don't know if you can see, the rest of them have like a regular doe foot, but this one has like a clear paddle applicator. It's like a silver. And you know, I swatched these on my arm the other day when they came in the mail and they are, oh wait, this one has that paddle applicator as well. Ooh, this is the shade Relentless. And when I swatched these the other day on my arm, when I was like, I mixed them all together, they're so soft. They have like the glossiest, softest, not at all sticky formula. And this is the finished look. All right, and this is the finished look. I love it so, so, so much. I mean, it's nice because I have my base of L'Oreal Pro Glow, so I know that my skin is going to perform well with whatever I put over top of it. Like, it, the base is gonna be a good base for me. But the rest of the products, I'm really, really happy with. So I'm gonna go over everything and talk to you guys about everything, and I'll let you know my final thoughts after the whole face is finished. So the Time LA pink infatuation eyeshadow palette. I think it's beautiful. I think that the shades right here are very wearable pinks. They don't look overly too much. If you wanna go really bright, you do have the options here on the bottom, but if you wanna go more muted and soft, you have that ability too. They blended insanely beautifully and they just look so, so nice. I used five shades out of the palette and I think that it is beautiful. I had no issues with patchiness, no issues with the blendability. I feel like 
the colors look really beautiful together. It's like a chocolate cherry look. Honestly, I think it's really, really nice. And if you're looking for pinks, I don't think you're gonna hate it if you look at this palette and really like the way that it looks. I haven't tried the shimmers out. Let me swatch a few of them and see what they look like. So here's what they look like on my hand. They look really pretty. I don't know how they're gonna look on the eyes, but I would imagine nice. I love, I don't know if you guys remember, but I tried the Time LA highlighter palette in a video recently. I'll link it up here. I'm, I think it was a full face first impressions video and I was so impressed. They are like glowy, super blinding highlight. They're unassuming in the pan. They really are. They don't look like they're gonna be like the most incredibly blinding thing. And then you put them on the face and you're like, what? So beautiful. So I'm really, really happy with this eyeshadow palette for pinks. If I'm looking for a pink palette, I do think I would reach for this again. It's about this size right here in comparison to my hand. And I don't know, I really like that. The Wet n Wild Fairy Tale Ending Liquid Shadow. I mean, if you guys saw my Wet n Wild video, you know how I feel about these, but they are so beautiful. I honestly think that it's so cool that the drugstore has these now. They're $4.99, they're inexpensive. I feel like they perform really well and I love the color. I think that it goes perfectly with this eye look. It is so stunning. These ColourPop liners are from first impression. I live for them. This is what it looks like up close. And you know what? I love the colors. I do think that they have a bit of drag to them, especially on this side. You can see there's a little skippy but until this white liner that I used today, the only one that I had to choose from was the NYX Matte White Liquid Liner, which I don't love because it's so flaky and cracky that it works and it's super, super white, but it's also a little hard to work with because it is a brush tip, whereas this is a felt tip. And I feel like for a felt tip, that's really, really white. I'm really impressed with these and I cannot wait to try the others. The blues and I mean, there's a ton of different colors. You've got the blues and greens and a yellow and a red. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited to try these out. I think it's amazing that ColourPop has these now and I'm really excited to see them expand on the collection. I would imagine that they are going to just bring out more and more shades of this and I really hope they do. There's no purple in here. I would love a purple liner as well. And just like differing shades. So like a really bright teal, a really, really hot, hot, hot pink instead of like, this is the perfect pink for this eye look, but it would be cool to have a bunch of different shades. And I really, really like these. I think that they are very needed and we need some colorful liners. I feel like there's a few areas that brands sort of don't really step their feet into. Every brand does eyeshadow palettes and blushes and highlighters, but brands a lot of times forget about like colorful eyeliners and I feel like this was the perfect timing for this. So beautiful, I love this eye look with my whole heart. I don't know what these lashes are, but I actually feel like they're so pretty. They're very minimal and not too much and I feel like you are able to see the eye look with this. Brows are the CoverGirl brow pencil. I tried a full face of CoverGirl and I was just so impressed with the brow pencil and I literally use it every day in my life. It's what I'm wearing today. Skin is L'Oreal Pro Glow. I forgot to tell you guys that before. Then I use the Wet n Wild uh, bronzer again. I didn't have a new bronzer to try today. Love it with my whole heart. I feel like it's so beautiful. Wet n Wild absolutely killed it. Um, the highlighter again was the Melt Cosmetics one. I feel like it is a beautiful highlighter. I just feel like I get more bang for my buck with the Ofra Cloud 9 highlighter. But if, if you're looking for a pink one, that's the one I would recommend. But you know what? If you have a deeper, medium, medium to deep skin tone, but you're looking for a pink highlighter, Cloud 9 may be too white versus the Melt one is just like a solid pink. So you may prefer that one if you have a deeper skin tone than me. But for me, because I'm so fair, I really like it when it has that white base because it just gives me that beaming look. Does it emphasize my texture? Yes, but highlighters, highlight and they highlight the good and the bad. The NARS blush, I'm gonna have to keep playing with these. I feel like they look really beautiful and I feel like it's gonna be really, really hard to over apply a blush like this because of the formula that they are. Like I just dip my finger in it and you can see it's just such a soft skin like color and you have the peachy tones as well, which I generally go for a peachy blush, but today obviously I went pretty pink, but I think that these are really pretty. That's the highlighter from it and that looks that looks kind of nice. But they have just such a unique texture. They're very pressed. They're not hard. I would I would I would say they're more of a firm feeling. They're not flaky or powdery by any means, but because they are like this, it's a lot 
more of a buildable blush, which I really like because I don't like it when you over apply a blush, which is why a lot of times you guys see me not use blush because I feel like it's a little bit more finicky. I love the way that it looks and I think that blush really adds a lot and I find that when I wear blush, I'm like, oh yeah, that, that completes the look. I think it's really, really pretty. If you love the colors of this, you might like the formula. You may wanna run into Sephora and swatch it though because it is buildable. It's not something that's gonna give you like a punch of pigment, but I prefer a blush like that. And then we have the gorgeous NARS lip products. These are the NARS lip glosses and literally could there be any more beautiful? They're so stunning. The, the formula of these is so soft. They're not sticky at all. Probably one of the more comfortable gloss formulas that I've ever worn. They feel almost like a lip oil. That's how comfortable they are. Just really, really nice, really soft and glidey, not sticky at all. So beautiful. I'm just in love. I feel like every single one of these is gorgeous too. And I will wear them again, 100%. And that is it for this face of testing out new makeup. I hope you guys like this video. I was pretty impressed with everything. I feel like I had a really good run with makeup today. I feel like it just worked really well. And maybe that's because I didn't try a new foundation. When I try new foundations, that's when shit really hits the fan because it's like, an, it's up in the air. I have something very specific that I like. And if it doesn't meet my requirements, it's not gonna fly with me. I'm really happy and I feel like this looks really beautiful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you guys tried any of this makeup? Are you interested in any of it? Anything that you guys think I should try, let me know. I have a whole bunch of makeup over there. I want to do a full face of Fenty, but I don't love the Fenty foundation. So I'm a little nervous to do that because like I already know the base isn't going to look great, but maybe it would be fun for me to try mixing the foundation or using a different like primers or like mixing things in with it or really like using a tiny little bit of it while like making my face super dewy because the Fenty foundation is super matte like ultra 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 matte and for me it just it did not look great but maybe I should try it again let me know what you guys think I want to do a full face of Fenty though I have a ton of products and I think it would be so fun to go through and just like give my ultimate thoughts on everything that they have so far and let me know if there's any other brands you guys are interested in seeing me do a full face of today was a pretty much full face first impressions but you know not a fully because I wanted to make sure that my skin looked good for the next two videos that I got to film all right well that is it for this video let me know if you guys like this makeup look I think it is so stunning and give this video a thumbs up if if you did please subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not yet i upload new videos every monday wednesday and friday you guys can also follow me on twitter and instagram if you guys are interested in seeing more of me both are raw beauty christy and i thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you at my next video bye hey guys today <coughs> every day is a bad hair day lately i swear to god Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video, clearly, clearly, but what the fuck is going on with this hair? I hate it. I hate what's happening to it. Zoom in actually. Not that far. It's a little far. So I do want to try the new ColourPop. Stop. God. So if you like pink eyeshadows, you may love this. We'll see how this performs. This is the... <clears throat> and then I'm going to come back. I'll cut the... Hey Siri, Google, Time LA, Infatu... Okay. Okay. I found this on the web for Ty Melly. Take a look. Stupid bitch. Give me enough time to win it. I'm gonna take just a. I'm gonna take just a. Now I'm gonna move on to the color pop. Oh no. Okay, so I have thrown on a pair of lashes. And my orange. gorgeous and then each of the blushes have that same imprintation in them imprintation imprint it looks really pretty it's got like that nice I love the way it looks and I think that it really rounds out an eyeshadow what I love the way it looks and I think it really rounds out the face product look what